So the next part of this conversation um, that I wanted to touch on around um, slowing down in order to be more effective um, in your business um, is about, it's an extension of the last video um, that I put out and it is you know, aside from daily practices that help you to feel more comfortable and more embodied and more um, healthy, whole, it is about um, sort of like longer term practices that will that are that will resource you. Um, ways to resource yourself in order to be able to respond to the changing dynamics of the world and the changing um, seasons of your business and you know just even like threats that come your way it's a crazy world stuff happens um, and if we are resourced in ourselves and in our bodies and feeling whole in who we are, then we're better able to meet those challenges when they come up. And so one of the things that is essential as a resource is to nourish your body with foods that are healthy. And you can decide what healthy means for you and what that looks like. And for me, what feels best in my body, um, and I think it comes out of my history as a self-taught herbalist and as a garden witch, <laughs> um, and like an outdoors, woman um, is growing my own food and cooking the food that I grow and um, gardening growing food is uh, it's a practice it's a lifelong learning you know it's something that like I've had teachers who have shared with me um, their wisdom and their practices and I've incorporated some of those and left others. I, watering the garden is, you know, needs to happen like every day in order, not every day, you know, every second day, every third day, um, in order for the plants to keep growing. And I notice that when I'm intentional about watering and spending time with each plant, the garden is much happier. Um, and having an herbal garden um, of herbs that I use, um, you know, like lavender to make tea in order to help me sleep, chamomile for the same reason, um, rosemary, which is like a rejuvenating sort of a sense, and rose and calendula, which is great for the skin, and comfrey, which heals wounds, and yarrow, which is also great for, you know, stopping bleeding, and um, all of these different herbs. Um, in addition to growing like zucchini, and I love um, artichoke plants. I think they're so cool. Like, I think the artichoke is probably one of the silliest, like, things to grow for, like, the amount of water that it takes to grow it versus like the amount of like actual body of the fruit that you get to eat <laughs> but they're so pretty and when they bloom they're just like my artichokes are just about to bloom and I'm driving through artichoke fields right now so it's it's on my mind um but for sure um for me one of those those practices is not just like choosing food from farmers markets from people who I know who have grown food in biodynamic and sustainable ways but also growing food myself um, in my my garden in my house they're actually in Santa Cruz where I live um, 
because I know not everyone has garden space, but um, in the park down the street from our house, there's a community garden. Um, and so folks who live in apartments and condos and don't have space for gardening, there's space on plots there and they get to grow like so many beautiful things and we get to see them, which is really cool. So um, there are these amazing, beautiful like peas that someone was growing recently and all these beautiful flowers and vegetables. and. Another piece to this, which is something that I am learning, is about um, minerals. So minerals are, you know, vitamin C, vitamin D, iron, calcium, like all these different things, zinc, magnesium, things that um, our body needs in order to regenerate itself. And they are things that um, we can run low on. And in order to absorb certain kinds of minerals, it uses other minerals. And so um, you can be getting like, for example, taking a vitamin D supplement and then that will like kill the amount of another mineral that there is in your body. And so if you're not re adding that in, then you end up like more depleted in this other area. So having enough minerals is an important thing. So I have a mineral like drop supplement that I put in my water. Um, I've heard recently that that's not actually like the best way to get minerals. So anyway, I'm still learning on the mineral front, but um, having, having the right composition of minerals in your body is important. And as I understand, if you are a person who has given birth or a person who is forming a baby in you right now, the baby will take all of the minerals that it needs and it will leave you with none of them. Um, and so that's a thing that you can test um, and you can do blood tests or a hair sample test, I guess, to find out like what the makeup is. And that's definitely something that's on my list uh, before we try to have a sibling for Algernon. Um, and then another sort of more recent thing that I have been learning about is about my ancestors um, and repairing, repairing breaks in ancestral lineage. And there's a great book that's called Ancestral Medicine that I started reading. Um, and I'm sort of looking for a teacher in this realm. But the idea is that the ancestors are here and they are, some of them are available for us to have relationships with in order to have more connection with who we are basically and where we've come from and so again this is an area where I'm in the beginning of learning but it's something that I've really felt a draw toward especially after Algernon was born um, I, I feel like he is an ancestor and that he chose to come back to be with me and David um, for his, the early part of his life, um, and that it is a great honor for him to be with us, um, and it is a wonderful um, opportunity uh, for us to learn more about where we all come from. Um, and so through starting to travel down that path, I already just feel more um, whole, I think is the word. Um, like I know that there are awful and terrible things that have happened to my ancestors. Um, and I now know more about what that is and when it happened. And I'm particularly looking into my Swedish ancestry right now and just the you know transition through like bronze age and iron age and um 
the like the Romans and the conquering of the world and <laughs> the transition to Christianity and um, the like doing away with the indigenous practices um, of that land. Um, I'm reading this particular book right now that's called Trolldom, which is just wonderful. Um, uh, and troll is in reference to magic. So a troll isn't apparent, isn't just a magical creature, but it is also a term for magic. Um, so in thinking about like resourcing yourself through the ups and downs and craziness of life, finding these kinds of things that are meaningful to you, um, that uh, bring you joy and bring you wholeness is a way to, um, to be able to address those ups and those downs.